Hello, this is Sam Faroni, owner and founder of EMP Software and Company. Now I'm going to show you how to use the EMP software. So we're gonna start it. Uh, I'm gonna start it on my system to show you just an example. Uh, to make a piece of music, you need first to uh, enter three inputs. One is your melody. You can enter the piano roll and you can write your melody. You can write the notes here. Okay. You can write notes. You can write your melody here. This is the first input that the software will take. Then, you will go to the open panel and you will choose uh, the genre of music that you wish to generate. So let's choose now, for example, um, Arabic uh, rhythm. I want to generate an Arabic rhythm. Let's say Saidi. We open the Saidi information and it will open now. Okay, so, so now we entered uh, the uh, information um, uh, of the uh, Saidi music beat and now we need to uh, choose uh, how many tracks we want to do and how many variation uh, of Saidi music we want to do. So we need here to uh, click some uh, a button that will uh, make a diversity of uh, Saidi uh, beats and uh, this is responsible for the diversity between the different beats and here we will choose how many tracks we want let's choose for example 10 tracks 10 tracks okay and now we are gonna make the software uh, make varieties of 10 tracks okay the software generated automatically the data that we are going to use to make these 10 tracks uh, we can make uh, 1000 track or we can make 10,000, it doesn't matter. But in this example for the user, we're gonna uh, use 10 tracks, which is enough to make uh, an album. We're gonna generate now 10 tracks, uh, only percussion, side percussion. So let's click. Okay, so the software generated the data that enough to make 10 tracks. We close this panel. As we can see, it already generated the data for 10 tracks. Then we open the fusion matrix to add uh, chord progression to, to the data. We can add uh, uh, chords, C, D, E, E, F, G. Uh, C major, D major, E minor, F major. Then we can click on this button to export what we created in MIDI format. Uh, when we export, uh, when we press, uh, we can, we see this panel. We can name our 10 tracks. Let's say 10 Arabic. Okay. Um, now it will export 10 tracks that we made in MIDI format. And we can see these tracks uh, in this file. Uh, uh, our file right here, MIDI. We will, we will see it as it export the MIDI files. In MIDI.
Okay, it's still not here because we call it Arabic. Let's now export it. This exported. Ten files. Let's go to the MIDI file and see what we did. And it's right. Oh, it's right here. Okay. As we can see, it generated ten Arabic tracks. Now I need your support so we can uh, listen to this MIDI tracks through our uh, uh, piano roll, which is uh, uh, right here. Because we wrote, we, uh, we wrote uh, the melody that is integrated into the stand tracks. This melody that we wrote earlier in the video, I will repeat it because it's deleted now. Okay, this is the uh, second. Okay, it was it was like this melody. It was like this. Okay, this is this melody was integrated into the generation process. So uh, every track that uh, we just did from the ten tracks has this melody inside of it, and it's all under the Jenner uh, side music. Okay, let's open the files in FL Studio now because I need your support because this uh, doesn't uh, have good sound. So we need I need your support financial and more so we can make a better front end for the user to use. For example, we have a piano roll here, but the sounds are not very uh, doesn't have very high quality. So to listen to the MIDI file that we created. We need to put it in FL Studio to have the quality of sound, but not composition. We have better quality of composition, yes, we need to add better quality of sound. So, so for now, I'm just going to use FL Studio to add good quality to the sound. Um, okay. As you see, this is the melody that we wrote in the uh, piano roll. It, it will be always used in every MIDI file that we created. Um, and uh, the side the uh, beat. So let's listen to it. But first we need to add a good quality sound. So I'm going to convert all the MIDI channels to audio to add uh, good quality sound. Okay, let's listen now to what we made.
Okay, so you can see it's a Saidi uh, music uh, uh, rhythm, and it added to it the variation number one uh, with the melody that we wrote. Uh, of course, there's uh, some mistake in the example I made because it wasn't two halves here; it was something else. But just I made this video for example to show you how to use the software. Um,